Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing another reading for Pisces, so let's get into it. Sirens are going off right now. Asking for guidance from the divine, from Isis, from our ancestors, aunties, uncles, grandparents, great grandparents, my father and the angels, sending unconditional love always. Guidance for Pisces. I hope everybody's having a lovely day today. It is Monday here in Australia, so back to work. So let's get three cards out of the kippers and see what messages are coming through to us today, what kind of vibe we're going to get. Okay, so we've got false person, high honor, community, occupation, and on the back of the deck, message of concern. Interesting. Okay. So I didn't know how I was gonna do a reading today. I was just gonna do it a bit like yesterday. But it looks like there could be some kind of false energy around you, could be close to home. It may have something to do with your occupation maybe, but it looks like some kind of message of concern may be coming in. Okay. And last shuffle. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. Messages for Pisces. So we've got the Queen of Wands. Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The Page of Swords. Swords is Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Page of Pentacles. Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And Justice, Libra Energy. On the back of the deck, we've got the Four of Wands. So 11-11, you're on the right track. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see. I put these here. Yep, that's good. Just want to make sure everything looks good. Okay, let's get some clarifiers out on these. What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces, please, spirits? What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles. 
the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Six of Cups. On the back of the deck, we've got the Tower. Okay. So, I feel like you're this Queen of Wands. You're in your creativity at the moment. You're working on yourself. The Hierophant's coming out. So, Taurus energy, Earth energy. You have a higher calling in life. Uh, you know um, that Divine is leading you the right way. So you are in this spiritual energy at the moment. You're doing you, you're doing what you need to do, you're doing the work. But yes, yeah, so it looks like there may be um, you thinking about the past. You may be thinking about the past. And there looks like there may be some kind of material or wealth coming to you, some kind of new material item, something new, something, something you can touch maybe. But yes, this could be coming from some kind of false person. This coin, this new beginning. This person could have been from your past with the Six of Cups coming out, but you could be thinking about the past also and about maybe giving a coin to somebody. So yes, either you or someone else in your energy is giving a coin or is given a coin. What is this Page of Swords for Pisces? What is this Page of Swords for Pisces? So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. And the Three of Wands. On the back of the deck, we've got the Tower again. So there was some kind of tower that happened or there could be some tower that's going to happen with a message of concern, but this is obviously the way. So when I got this, when this card came out, I thought of it straight away as a student. So you could be a student at the moment. You could be learning something, studying, taking the higher road, doing what you need to do to be this hierophant. You know, you could be studying to get your Ten of Pentacles. Pen Ten of Pentacles is everything you need. Happy family, happy life, all the money you need in the world. Being comfortable. You could be standing your ground also, standing up for what you believe in, standing, fighting for your rights. Because you know maybe this high honour is coming in you know it's coming in your intuition is telling you that this is the way to go and this is going to bring in this ten of pentacles for you okay so what is this page of pentacles for pisces please spirits what is this page of pentacles for pisces so we've got justice we've got libra energy so the Page of Pentacles, sorry, and then we've got the Five of Swords, then we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. On the back of the deck, we've got the Six of Swords. So you could be leaving a situation for karma water or, you know, you're leaving the baggage and heading into um, safer waters, karma waters, But yes, there looks like there could be some kind of page of pentacles in your energy. This person could be 
in your community. They could live around you. They could be part of your spiritual community. They could be part of some kind of internet community that you have. This person with the Page of Pentacles coming out could be a lot younger than you or you could be a lot younger than them. There is an age difference. But yes, there is an age difference and they could have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So there's a lot of Pentacles coming out, so a lot of Earth energy. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles coming out also. Confirming this person is some kind of earth sign. The Knight of Pentacles is the person that comes in and out of your life. So this person could come in and out of your life a lot. With the Knight of Pentacles, they come in slow also. So this person could have, you know, slowly came here. They could be slowly coming to you. Take what resonates. This person could have also betrayed you in the past with the Five of Swords coming out. I always look at this cat on this card and, you know, they've hurt somebody. But then they're sort of looking in the distance, thinking about what they've done and they can't believe they've done that. But yes, it looks like some kind of justice is coming in with this page of pentacles energy, this earth energy that is around you. Justice, the master number... 11, so 1-1, one, one, you're on the right track. But yes, there's some kind of justice coming in from for leaving a situation with some kind of earth energy. Okay, what is this occupation for Pisces, please, spirits? Sorry, what is this justice? The Six of Pentacles, balance, justice. What is this justice for Pisces, please? The star, Aquarius energy. And the nine of pentacles on the back of the deck, we've got the queen of cups. So you're coming out on this reading as the Queen of Cups, sitting there ready to give your cup, your cup of emotions to somebody. So I feel like this justice has got to do with your occupation, you know, leaving a situation because you're not getting treated the way you want to be treated is perfectly fine that is a boundary and you deserve that boundary and doing doing the work and leaving a situation for your you know your balance and what you deserve you're getting this justice okay balance giving to the right people learning that you know you have to you know you you get what you give. So if, if this person, if people are in your energy energy and they're not giving you anything, then you're not giving them anything. But if they're giving you something, you're giving them something. So, yes, there's justice coming, I feel like. You know, maybe you've given up giving to somebody and you're working on your occupation instead. Take what resonates, but this justice is coming in for you. You know, we've got the star, this is you, Aquarius energy, you are the star. You are healing, you're grounding, you're connecting with the earth, you're following the star, you are the star. Balance, again, justice, you've got justice balance, we've got six of pentacles balance, we've got the star balance. So you could be balanced right now. You could be doing everything right. You know, this is you, the Nine of Pentacles. Living your best life. You have everything you need around you. You don't depend on anyone and you don't need anyone. But you will give your cup. You do have love and you want to give love. And you want to give your cup to somebody. 
but yes you are following the star you're doing the work you're doing the right thing you're going to get justice maybe something to do with your occupation you might be getting justice through there you know there might be something big coming some kind of message of concern so that was interesting as i always say a very different reading from well not very different reading from yesterday but a more detailed look on what you should be doing for you not always about some other energy all the time you know divine is giving you some guidance um and some insight on you know you keep doing your you keep doing the work and you keep doing you and you keep doing the path that you're supposed to take and you will get the rewards okay so now we've done that and there is a little page of pentacle energy around you we will get some aphrodite oracle cards out and see what this page of pentacles has to say or this false person i don't know if they're the same person they could be different take what resonates to you There could be someone around you at the moment that is earth energy. You know, they could be this false person because this, you know, this person's been coming in slow, but this person hurt you too. You know, and you're getting your justice because of it. But yes, this person could be from the past. So this person could be the false person. But yes, as I said, take what resonates for you. If you're looking for new, that's great. If you're not, that's good too. You know, as long as these people are doing the work also, then everything's fine. But if they're not doing the work, then yes, they don't deserve to be in your life. Okay. So we'll get three cards, please, for Pisces spirits. Three cards for Pisces. Let the past go with love. You know, maybe you have to forgive and forget. You know, forgiving people for what they have done, you know, is for you it's not for them they might have hurt you so bad but forgiving them is going to help you mentally and help you on your journey i've never met anyone like you and dust to side chicks i'm jealous on the back of the deck we have i need you bad okay so yes this could be a different energy coming in from this false energy or it could be the same person you could be letting the past go with love and starting anew or you could be letting somebody go to start anew but there is someone around you that's a little jealous of what you're doing right now you could be talking to people but yes, this person has never met anyone like you. And I'm sure they have not because Pisces are so different. I was talking to my husband about Pisces and I don't know, you know, I thought I didn't know too many Pisces that, you know, are in my community, but I actually do. And every single, you know, I don't really get along with them, unfortunately, because when you look into it, they all are very outspoken people. Not um, not just outspoken, but um, they have their own charisma and their own personality, just like me. Um, I'm not very outspoken though. I'm a very introverted Pisces. I always thought I was very extroverted, but um, getting older i sort of realized that i am actually really quiet person if i don't know you um but um yes i realized that pisces people 
um, have this charisma about them and they are all different. Every single one of us, we all are all different people and we're all different in our own ways, but we all like draw in energy and we draw people in and people love us. So of course I've never met anyone like you. So yes, I just had to ramble on about that because I love Pisces and I love that we are so unique, different people. People tell me that I am very, you know, I have that charisma and they love that about me and it makes me feel really good about myself because I try to be the best person I can be and, you know, some people do see that. And then you have some people that don't. But those people obviously have their own issues that they have to deal with too. So we'll do two cards today, please, spirits. Two cards for Pisces. How deep is your love, Bee Gees? And I'll take that one. Dia Maka, Led Zeppelin. Okay, and on the back of the deck, Love Really Hurts Without You, Billy Ocean. Okay, so once this reading is done, listen to these songs. They will have messages for you in them. I thank you again for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.